The second annual physics competition is coming up soon, and we finally have enough staff members to participate. Last year, we didn't have enough since people got food poisoning from the wings that got down the street. I really don't see how. The wings were 80% off and came in mismatched plastic shopping bags. The whole thing was shady. I'm surprised we all survived. And then the bear finally dropped a pack of skills to stole from And then the bear turned into my mother. And my mother's face started melting off when she told me about how bad that candy was for me. Hey, hey now, get your all-star. Go play, get your game on. Did any of you guys just hear a word I just said? Um, something about a bear. And Skittles. Wow, so all the unimportant stuff, right? You know, it's important when someone as myself is speaking, you give them your full undivided attention. Well, we'd be a lot more awake if it wasn't 5.35 in the morning. We'd all be a lot more awake, Nicole. Wow, wow, it's too early, it's too early. Mason, will you please just tell us what we're here for? Offers, offers don't until 7.30 a.m. Well, as I was telling you before, the second annual physics competition is coming up, and I refuse to lose it under red. And how does that have anything to do with the dream you just told us about? It doesn't. Attention everyone, the annual physics competition is coming up next week, and we're going to practice from 4 to 6 p.m. What? But office hours are not 4. You have to take my sick dog to the vet today. She has a life-changing surgery schedule. And, if you don't show up, you're fired. Okay, today we're going to learn Newton's Law of Interest. An object in motion stays in motion, and an object at rest remains at rest, no matter what. Shouldn't you have taught us this before we were about the free body diagram? And it's Newton's Law of Inertia, not interest. And the law actually states an object in motion stays in motion, an object at rest stays at rest. And so I'm um, unbalanced force acts on it. Yeah. Okay, hi, Nicole. I think I know what I'm doing since I'm a teacher and you guys are students. He really doesn't. Yesterday he tried to teach us about acceleration due to gravity, but he thought the decimal 9.8 meters per second squared was actually a smudge on the board, and now he's convinced the value is actually 98 meters per second squared. Every time Nicole tries to correct him, he just hushes her. Hey guys, let's start by going over the first free body diagram that we assigned yesterday. You mean the one with the two books on the table? Yeah, that one. Yeah, can you put the board I demonstrated to you? Same here. A free body diagram is an illustration that depicts all the forces acting on a point-like object in a given period of time. In this scenario, we will be focusing on two textbooks sitting on the table. We will view each object as its own individual system. For Object A, the only two forces acting on it are gravity and object B. Gravity is pulling the object down so we can load it with an arrow pointing down. We label it as FG on A. For object B, pushing up on object A, we even note it as an arrow pointing up. We label it as FG on A. For object B, there are three forces acting on it. Gravity, object A, and the table. The table is pushing object B up, so we denote it with an arrow pointing up. Gravity and object A are both acting down. Gravity is pulling the object down, and so we're pushing it down. For object T, which stands for the table, we have the normal force of the floor pointing up, and gravity and object B pointing down. Wait. Hmm? So the rest of us have been having secret practice sessions behind Mason's back during our lunch break while he sleeps in his office. We've been doing so since Monday. We knew Mason didn't know what he was talking about since day one, so we took precautionary measures. Well, Chris butt dialed me and woke me up. It's not what it looked like, I swear. Really? Because it looks like you guys are having a secret meeting behind my back and I feel so much great right now. 98 meters per second squared. Mason tried to withdraw us from the competition afterwards, but it turns out he had the dates wrong the whole time. The competition was actually last month.
Anyways, Dunder Mifflin won again. Well, there's always next year.